The first chord is an E flat. So that's up on, you know, E is on 12th fret, so E flat is on the 11th fret. That first chord is a major 7, so it's your regular clump. The 5th, the 3rd, and the 7th. So it's, that's the major 11th fret, 12th fret, 12th fret. Okay, C7 with a flat 9. That's a C, which is the 8th fret. Oh, sorry, 8th fret. Dominant with a flatted 9. So that's the... Ninth fret on the first string. So you had E flat major, C dominant seven with a flat nine. So the frets there are nine, eight, nine, and eight. Um, F you can find down here at the first fret. The minor is just, and then B flat is the sixth fret and dominant. G minor is at the third fret. You can know, do the bar for the minor. C dominant seven flat nine, same chord. C is at the 8th fret, dominant, and flat 9. F minor, again down here at the 1st fret, minor. And then, that same chord, F minor 7, but with a B flat in the bass. So instead of hitting the 6th string 1st fret, we can get that B flat on the 5th string at the 1st fret. So that measure is F minor, then F minor over B flat. And then G minor, 3rd fret, minor. F sharp is at the 2nd fret. That's just F moved up a fret, and then dominant. So that's an F sharp dominant, regular dominant, an F minor, and then the B flat sharp seven. Take a sharp, convert that in your head, just take it away. So what you have there is a B flat seven chord, and convert the plus into a sharp five. So F minor, the B flat. What's that? It's called a B flat augmented seven, or, you know, plus seven. We call that, that plus an augmented. But what it means is a sharp five. So the way it's saying this is a B flat dominant seventh with a sharp five. And what we're doing is, if uh, in this chord, here's the B flat, here's the dominant chord, which is a fifth, a third, and a flat seventh. The, the plus means sharp the five. So we're taking this note that's on the second string, the sixth fret, and moving it up to the seventh fret. You can do that by adding your pinky. Now back to E flat. C7, this time with a sharp 9. So instead of putting the 9 uh, flatted down on the 9th fret, we're going to go all the way to the 11th fret. And it's easier to do that if you just bar to get the dominant chord. So the frets you're getting are 11 for that sharp 9, and then 8, 9, and 8. And then F minor again. And then this is a B flat dominant with a flat 9. Just like our C dominant with a flat ninth, except it's on a B flat chord. That's the whole A section. So you had an E flat major. Yeah, the B flat seven flat nine. The first flat in that is the root note. The B flat is at the sixth fret. The seven means play a dominant chord, and that flat ninth on the end means add a flat ninth to it. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's the whole A section. So it's E flat major. C dominant with a flat ninth, F minor, B flat dominant, G minor, C dominant with a flat ninth again, F minor, F minor with a B flat and the Bs, and then G minor, F dominant, F sharp dominant, uh, F minor, and then B flat augmented, and E flat, uh, C7 with a sharp nine, and F minor, and then B flat dominant with a flat nine. Don't see a triangle, an M, uh, let's see, a triangle, an M, a circle with a line through it, a circle. 
anything that's just a number after a letter is dominant. So E flat triangle seven is E flat major seven. E, e um, M seven would be a minor seventh. Uh, you know, circle with a line through it is half diminished seventh. And then just a number, like here you have a B flat seven or a G sharp, or sorry, an F sharp seven or a C7 with a flat nine. All those chords are dominant chords. There's a letter name, which may include a sharp or flat, like F sharp seven means that you go to the F and you move it up a fret. Make sense? But the seven there, without an M, without a circle, without a triangle, without a circle with a line through it, that's dominant. Cool? Okay, cool. Make sense? <clears throat> so B flat seven flat nine. The root note is B flat. It's always the first thing you see is the, the letter with any sharps or flats. Then the seven there doesn't have an M, doesn't have a circle, doesn't have a circle with a line through it, doesn't have a triangle, that's dominant. And then the flat nine after that is an alteration. It means, you know, put a flat nine on there. So it's a B flat dominant seventh with a flat nine. Cool? Okay. A flat, flat nine. So, yeah. the, I mean, the flat chords... I mean, the flat symbols, anything, any number that comes after the flat symbol is dominant. Um, yeah, that one... You know, so this, like, so, uh, you know, the second chord from the top, that's C, that's C, that's a C dominant 7 flat 9? Yep, yeah, it's dominant. Okay. And that, that chord that looks like B with a flat 7 and a flat 9 is not that. The first thing you see is always the root note. So that's a B flat. And then the seven means make it dominant. And then the flat nine after that means add a flat nine to it. Cool? Make sense? All right. Okay, we got to go there. I'm going to upload this. Cool?